There was once a young guy named Koji who was anxious to learn about Zen enlightenment. He had read several books on the subject and had even tried meditation on his own, but he felt he needed a teacher to show him the way. He'd heard about a great Zen teacher named Takashi who resided in a secluded monastery on top of a mountain and wanted to go find him. Koji arrived to the temple after a lengthy journey which was bordered by a verdant forest and a babbling creek. A bald-headed monk met him and inquired about his name and intentions. Koji introduced himself and expressed his desire to learn with Takashi. Koji followed the monk into a small room with a tatami mat and a wooden table. He instructed him to remain where he was while he went to notify the master of his arrival. Koji was both delighted and apprehensive, wondering what type of person Takashi was and what he could teach him. After a time, the monk returned and told Takashi that he would see Koji right away. Koji got to his feet and followed the monk through a maze of hallways and gardens until they arrived at a big hall with sliding doors and paper screens. The monk opened the doors and motioned for Koji to come in. Takashi was sitting on a cushion in front of a low table, his eyes closed and his hands folded in his lap. When Koji noticed him, he was dressed simply and had a calm smile on his face. Koji politely bowed and replied, Good morning, Master. Koji is my name and I've come to study about Zen enlightenment. Takashi opened his eyes and sent a friendly but probing glance at Koji. He didn't say anything for a time, instead focusing on Koji's expression and body language. Under his inspection, Koji felt nervous, but he attempted to appear cool and attentive. Takashi finally spoke up, greeting Koji. Takashi, the temple's master here. I understand you are interested in learning more about Zen enlightenment. Is that right? Koji excitedly nodded. Yes, master, I have read many books on the topic and have even tried meditation on my own but I believe I need a teacher to lead me in the correct direction. I've traveled a long distance to seek your advice. Takashi gave a small grin. I see. Before we start your training, I'd want to ask you a question. Are you willing to answer honestly? Koji was taken aback by the inquiry, but he said, Of course, Master, I will do my best to answer truthfully. Takashi nodded confidently. Here's my question. Do you know anything about Zen enlightenment? Koji was perplexed by the question since he had anticipated Takashi to teach him not to test him. Nonetheless, he attempted to provide an honest response. Master, I know that Zen enlightenment is a state of awareness and clarity that transcends dualistic thinking and attachment. It is the realization of our true nature and the unity of all things, and it is said to be attainable through meditation, mindfulness, and detachment from worldly desires. Takashi nodded once more. That's a fantastic response, Koji. But let me ask you another, how do you know all of that? Koji was embarrassed by the question since he realized he had not personally experienced Zen enlightenment but had just read and heard about it. Nonetheless, he attempted to justify himself. Master, I've read a lot of Zen literature and attended a few talks and workshops. I have gained knowledge and information on Zen enlightenment, and I have also meditated on my own. I feel I have a strong knowledge of Zen practice philosophy and procedures. Takashi nodded once again, but his smile had disappeared. I see. You believe you are knowledgeable about Zen enlightenment because you have read books and attended talks. Koji became defensive as he realized Takashi was unimpressed with his responses. I attempted to implement the lessons in my own life and made some improvement. I've learned to be more present and conscious in everyday circumstances as well as to regulate my thoughts and emotions. I feel I have attained some level of enlightenment. Takashi made a shaky motion with his head. No, Koji, you lack enlightenment. You have a cup full of views and information, but no room for true insight and wisdom. Takashi's statement struck Koji as harsh and depressing. He had not anticipated such harsh criticism from his potential teacher. He was angry and upset now, thinking that he had squandered his time and energy on a pointless pursuit. Takashi appeared to detect Koji's emotions and decided to adjust his approach. He rose up and moved to a neighboring cupboard, 
where he brought out a teapot in a cup, filled the cup with hot tea, and presented it to Koji. Koji, please have some tea. It's hot and fresh. Drink it gently, savoring the flavor and scent. Takashi's overture perplexed Koji since he had not anticipated to be offered tea at this time. Nonetheless, he accepted the cup and took a drink. The tea was hot and fresh, with a delicate flavor and a light aroma. The wine had made him feel a little more calm and rejuvenated. Takashi grinned as he saw Koji's reaction. Isn't that good? This is a unique tea that I created from the leaves of a rare plant. It takes a long time to create and has a distinct taste and quality. Do you want some more? Koji nodded, interested and thankful. He sipped more tea and Takashi refilled his cup every time he finished. Takashi's kindness astonished Koji, who anticipated him to chastise him more or lecture him about Zen. Koji sensed something unusual occurring as he drank more tea. The cup looked to overflow, but Takashi continued to pour more tea as if he didn't notice or care. Cody was concerned about the scenario since he expected the tea to spill and stain the table on the floor. He attempted to warn Takashi, but the master simply grinned and replied, Don't worry, Koji, the cup isn't yet full. Continue to drink, and you will see. Takashi's statements perplexed Koji, but he continued to drink. He was feeling apprehensive and uneasy since the cup was now overflowing, and the tea was falling on his lap and the floor. Finally, Koji had had enough and said, Stop, master, stop pouring. The tea is leaking from the cup. Takashi paused in his pouring and stared at Koji. Koji, you've learned a valuable lesson. The cup represents your thoughts and heart. There is no room for true insight and wisdom if it is crammed with viewpoints and information. You must empty your cup in order to create place for fresh perspectives and experiences. Only then will you be able to actually learn and develop. Koji was embarrassed and ashamed of his prior arrogance and stupidity. He realized that he had been so preoccupied with displaying his knowledge and wisdom that he had forgotten the most fundamental part of Zen practice, humility and openness. He bowed deeply to Takashi and thanked him for teaching him the genuine essence of Zen. I was so naive and ignorant to believe I knew everything. Please educate me more and assist me in becoming a real Zen learner. Takashi smiled and nodded, of course, Koji, I will guide you on your path to enlightenment, but you must remember this lesson, always keep your cup empty and your mind and heart open, let go of your attachments and expectations and be present in the here. And now that is the essence of Zen, Koji felt a sense of relief and gratitude. He had finally found a true master who could help him to achieve his goal of enlightenment. He felt humbled and inspired by Takashi's wisdom and compassion from that day on. Koji became Takashi's devoted student and he learned many more lessons about Zen and life. He practiced meditation and mindfulness every day and he let go of his past fears and regrets. He developed a new feeling of inner peace and joy and became an inspiration and guide for others on the same journey. Years later, when Koji became a master, he recalled Takashi's lessons from the empty cup incident. He taught it to his own students, emphasizing the significance of humility and openness in Zen practice. He understood the narrative had the capacity to alter minds and hearts, awakening the full potential of everyone who heard it. So the narrative of the empty cup continues to inspire and guide many individuals on their path to enlightenment, reminding them of the simple yet profound fact that only an empty cup may be filled with fresh knowledge and insight. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.